Hi, we're the Curious Chicks, and this video is for the shopaholics of the world. And if you're planning a trip to Los Angeles and you love shopping, you're going to want to check out these top 10 shopping sites going from the coast inward. You can easily spend a day exploring the streets of Santa Monica's Third Street Promenade, Santa Monica Place, and the surrounding downtown area. Third Street Promenade is three blocks of pedestrian-only shopping. It contains a mix of high-end, mid-range, bars, eateries, and street performers. At the end of the promenade, you'll hit Santa Monica Place, which is an upscale shopping development. It's not too exciting, but perhaps worth a gander if you see some stores that you like. Yeah, but you're gonna wanna check out True Food Kitchen, which is one of my favorite restaurants there. Surrounding the promenade and Santa Monica Place are a bunch of boutiques, bars, and restaurants that you might also wanna check out. And what about the Santa Monica Pier? Yes, right near Santa Monica Place is the iconic Santa Monica Pier, where you can end your day playing some games, riding some rides, and watching the sunset. The Westfield Century City Mall is a glamorous outdoor mall that was recently remodeled and updated in 2015. It consists of 150 stores, a movie theater, and art galleries. And they have really cool outdoor spaces for fashion shows. They have some really cool food places like Randy's Donuts, Chick-fil-A, and Italy. Oh, but you can't forget Din Tai Fung and Shake Shack. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have Rodeo Drive. Lifestyles of the rich and famous. If you're rich and famous, you're gonna wanna check this out because it has three blocks of high-end luxury shopping. But for the average person, it's probably nothing more than an optimist attraction. However, it does provide some good window shopping and you have very good chances of some celebrity sightings. So, wear your finest outfit and try to fit in. We, we dare you. you. Beverly Center, it's adjacent to Beverly Hills and it's also a neighbor to the Celebrity Hospital Cedar sinai It consists of eight indoor levels and over a hundred high-end stores. And you might even see a celebrity. Yeah, I saw Tracy Morgan there once. Ooh, it's true. But I have to say that the parking structure and the mall entrances are a little complicated. And be prepared for some traffic because especially in that neighborhood, it gets really congested. The Grove is like a high-end theme park with dancing fountains, a trolley, and lots of photo ops. Oh yeah, like that Christmas tree during the holidays? Yes. With about 40 retail shops and 10 restaurants, it's located on the same lot as CBS Studios and the original Farmer's Market. Yeah, that Farmer's Market has some really good food. It's also close to a lot of other LA hotspots, such as the La Brea Tar Pits, the LA County Museum of Art, Melrose Avenue, and Beverly Center. Melrose Avenue spans for eight blocks with high-end stores to the west. The quirky vintage and clubbing stores are to the east. And you might also recognize these streets from Jay Leno's jaywalking segments from back in the day. The area is edgy, it's interesting, it's not as glamorous as you might think, but it's worth taking a look. It's residential street parking and it's mostly permitted, so read the signs carefully. If you're on a budget, you might want to check out the Fashion District in downtown Los Angeles. At roughly one square mile, it's a major design, warehouse, and distribution hub for clothing and accessories. Here you'll find wholesalers, sample sales, knockoffs, and trendy no-name brands for super cheap. And if you don't have time, go to the center of the fashion district, Santee Alley, where you'll get a little taste of everything. The Americana at Brand, which is located in Glendale and a newer version of The Grove. It shares the same developer as The Grove, so you're going to see a lot of similar stores, the same movie theater, trolley, and fountain. It's adjacent to a very outdated yet large mall, the Glendale Galleria, which has 200 more affordable stores and dining options, including one of California's best, In-N-Out Burger. Looking for some bargain shopping? Check out Citadel and Commerce. While not in the most desirable part of town, it is the only retail outlet in LA. It has a historical facade from the 1920s, and it actually used to be a tire factory built as an Assyrian castle. With over 130 retail and food options, it has stores such as Armani, Columbia, Coach, Gap, Nike, and Disney. And another plus, parking is completely free! Yay! Next door to the Santa Anita racetracks is the Westfield Santa Anita, which is located on the eastern outskirts of LA in Arcadia. It has more than 250 stores, both indoor and outdoor. It's home to a large Asian population, so stores and restaurants are heavily catered to the Asian community. Yeah, they have stores like Miniso and Daiso, and they have restaurants like Hello Kitty Cafe and the popular Taiwanese dumpling house, Din Tai Fung. And it also has free parking. Keep in mind that traffic and large crowds can easily ruin your experience. So plan accordingly and check the traffic, avoid holidays and weekends if possible. So we hope you enjoyed checking out some of these shopping destinations. We've included links below in the video description. And that was all. <laughs> the end.